The Hydrox is pretty self-explanatory. We're cutting through soil and we're doing excavating work with air and water. It's an invasive way of using high pressured water and vacuum to locate any gas, sewer, communication, water lines, fiber optic. We all know that if you break one of those, it can be really expensive really quick. And you're taking your pressure washer that you would use to clean off your back patio, you're cranking up the volume on that tremendously, and then the vacuum portion of it, it really decreases the footprint for a lot of large construction companies. That's where we've been really beneficial. Hydro excavation trucks are needed by everybody nowadays. It could be all the way to Dairy Farmer Joe that has a broken drain pipe in one of his fields to a suburb. It could be a homeowner that wants to dig in a tree. So when we first pull up to a job, obviously we assess the situation, look for any safety hazards. We'll attach the tube to the truck. We'll get our water hoses out. This is a hydro excavation truck. It's used for non-invasive digging. It's a safe way to dig around power lines, areas with utilities in the ground. We can get in areas where buckets from machines can't get into. With conventional excavating, you would use the excavator digging the hole, then that would have to be put in a disposal pile, and then a dump truck has to come. Front loader comes, loads that, loads the dump truck. We're doing all that with hydro excavation with one piece of gear. You're getting an excavator on wheels, is what we call it. You can do a four by four hole and then put trench safety in and do the repair and backfill it and you're out of there. Versus bringing an excavator in and all the cost, the overhead for the heavy equipment machine like that. When we're hydro excavating, material is being sucked up into the debris tank of the truck. And when it's all finished and done, we are able to haul it away. The environment side of it is if you have a leak, say a bus tank rots out like we just had, we can go in and hydro excavate of the contaminated soil and not do more damage around the surrounding areas. When you work in a climate like ours, especially a rainy climate, you've got to take soil out that may be contaminated and you're setting it on the side for it to just be exposed to weather, whether it be wind or rain, it's going to run off. So being able to do the hydrox, everything's going in the back barrel, so you're eliminating that obstacle. And that's what we're trying to do, is eliminate obstacles for our customers that could create environmental problems down the road. We can pull anywhere from 300 to 400 feet away with vacuum hose, so we can get behind buildings or wherever you need us to get to with a hydro excavator versus an excavator, you need the open space to get in to dig the hole. It's more precise digging, and there's a safety aspect of it as well. A lot of the cities that we work in, especially for us in Puget Sound, Seattle's built on the old Seattle, so nobody really knows what's underground. So. Going in with water and air is a lot safer for both the city and the individual that's doing the work. So Provac is the best hydro excavating team out there because we have a really good training program and great employees that help all the other employees work together and get things done as fast and efficiently as they can. Again, it's solving problems for the customer. So if that can be done through education of what our different service offerings are, we're more than happy to provide that. We've got you know 30 years plus of experience here and knowledge of individuals that can come and help you out.